Hi, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. Right now it is boiling outside in Texas and the last thing that everybody is thinking about is Christmas. But in this video, I'm going to show you why right now is the perfect time to be thinking ahead towards the Christmas season. This video is going to be specifically made for people already using Booth or people thinking about uh, adding Core Edition to their photography business. So what we're going to do is we're going to use equipment that we already have, add an additional piece of software, throw in some creative ideas and see how we might be able to be a little bit more profitable come Christmas season. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, before we get started with Core Edition, I want to show you these new stickers that we have available on our website. I believe they're free, um, but this is specifically for builders that are building photo booths and adding darkroom software. Every one of your booths should have this sticker inside of it. Um, it says that it's proudly powered by darkroom software. It has a QR code to help them get started. Uh, they scan it, takes them to the help center. It might also save an event. Um, if they're running into an issue, they can scan it and look up whatever issue they're running into has contact information and also importantly it has that license code so you fill out the license code stick it to the inside of the booth if they run ever run into an issue they know what code is on that specific booth and uh, makes everybody's life hopefully a little bit easier so uh, either if you're a dealer reach out to uh, your rep or um, I'll have a link in the description if you need some of these um, but if you're dealing, um, they should have that sticker inside. So let's get into Darkroom Core Edition. Um, the theme of today's video is it is a workflow software and it's made to work the way you work, the way you want it to work. So here is my photo library. And this is where we're going to organize our events and images. In Core Edition, they're called catalogs. In Booth, they're called events. Essentially the same thing. So here are my uh, catalogs. I've created a new catalog um, and imported these images in. I can then, uh, let's go ahead and get the orientation right on all of them. And these, I'll talk about that in just a second. But from here, we can print. We, I can select this image and click a four by six and it will print a four by six. But this area is really made for organizing your catalogs and images. The photo workshop is where you're gonna do most of your work. So like I said, these were images were imported in. Um, what I'm gonna do is show you that you can also take a picture that's one of the big differences between core and booth is that you can take a picture with the actual um, software or the shutter release button. Right now the camera I'm using is a couple feet away so I'm just clicking take photo. But this is real helpful in um, retaking. That's probably the most helpful part about it is that I took one picture it's slightly out of focus took a second one that's much better and then at that point I can then uh, click my 4x6 package and it would print so we're gonna switch back to pictures of my kids because they are much cuter than I am um, so but we're imagining that the images are captured either by a tethered camera or imported from a memory card at an event. That's kind of the idea that we have right now. So the photographer can take one image, two images, and then they say, okay, the second image, the last image is the one that I want you to print. Or you can take multiple images and then let the uh, parents choose or the guests choose which image they like best. Um, when we're talking about photographing children and specifically children and animals, you can't use a countdown. They just don't get the concept for the most part, uh, that you have to, uh, 
know when to click that shutter button. So um, in Easter and Santa shoots, this is crucial. Um, so I have a few packages set up right here. I'm actually going to switch over and change one of mine and uh, it'll make sense a little bit further down the video. You can see why I am undoing what I have previously done. Okay, and four by eight. We'll come back to that later. Okay, so I can click my four by six package. I have virtual printer set up. It's going to automatically print directly to that printer. You can see it's spooling and there it goes. It's printed. Um, you would have your um, 4x6 die sub printer or jet printer hooked up or 8x10, whatever size you're doing. Uh, or multiple printers. That's really cool about Cordition. That if you want to print 5x7s, 4x6, 8x10s, 8x12s, 8x24s, you can add those specific printers for those sizes. And some printers will actually allow you to do multiple sizes. The DX100 is an amazing printer. It allows you to do 4x8 greeting cards all the way up to... 8x10s, 8x24s, I'm not sure how far the size goes. Let's say you have an image that needs to be edited up just a little bit. You can see the floor right there and then uh, this uh, umbrella. So in this case I can actually, I'm going to try my retouch, uh, I'm going to switch to Photoshop click retouch and see if I can edit that out and this is going to take me into Photoshop now this isn't a Photoshop editing tutorial um, but I just want to show you that it's possible and also show you a uh, my preferred way of editing in Photoshop um, let's switch over okay so there's the image it's already cropped and sent to Photoshop that way um, Not my best Photoshop work, but click save retouches and it will then now take us back over to dark room and there goes that umbrella. So that's some of the retouching. I promised you I'd show you a uh, an option that I prefer to use. Um, we'll just grab this image. And you can just drag it straight into Photoshop. Oops. just invert it just so you can see that you can do it and the image is flipped and inverted um, just undo all that and save it back and then close it and now it's updated in darkroom so uh, oops. that's editing in Photoshop you also have the retouch workshop right here we can kind of skip over uh, that part just because this is the very, this is just the tip of the iceberg of what Core Edition can do. Um, but uh, let's say I wanted a black and white with a vignette, five by seven. Um, let's say two five by sevens and eight by 10 of that image. Um, there's my order. You can see this one went to a shopping cart versus the other one went straight to a printer. They're set up just a little bit different and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But there is that order. That's how you can, another way you can build an order. Um, so if you're looking at this image right here, one thing you'll notice is that if I print a four by, or let's say a five by seven, and we'll go five by seven, eight by 10 again. It's showing me that it's going to crop the top of my daughter's head off if I save the order and go to my orders tab um, the last one was probably this one you can see that it's cropped and so for the most pe most part most people will just kind of skip the orders tab completely it's not uh, where that comes in handy is um, 
if you're running multiple stations let's say you have a large party and this is from my experience uh, that we uh, in the past I did a large party with multiple Santas and they were sending to a central computer where they are printing so there are capture stations with Santas in separate rooms because kids can't see that there's actually multiple Santas and then they're sending to a uh, central location to print so uh, that's where this uh, comes in um, that they're captured then they go to another location to actually purchase and print the operator can then go in look at the image um, and make adjustments and then place the order once they've received payment so also a little bit more complicated we're not really going to get into but if you visit darkroomsupport.com there's a video on networking and some of the options that you have there for a single standalone setup um, I would just check auto print and for the most part you don't even have to go to this area so now we're gonna get into some more specialty items and different ideas on how uh, you might be able to expand your offering um, using core edition so here I go to my templates I have this and my idea behind this template is that it is made for for Facebook or social media that it's captured and then saved as a file and then uploaded to event gallery and then the parents can then go and do whatever they want um, I have a video on using a receipt printer to print out barcodes so low-cost barcode uh, receipts they scan it and then they can download their image um, that's on our help center as well um, let's switch over this would be for a Christmas party a corporate Christmas party where you and your family go and they have a photographer and it prints out and it's something to remember this uh, this Christmas party um, this is a picture of darkroom from uh, back in the day you won't see me in this picture but uh, it's previous but the uh, this would be for a corporate Christmas party so that's the idea behind that um, and that I believe it's set up for a four by six here we have our green screen template Let's just switch to green I think I have a uh, Batman here so there's Batman we'll put him on our Christmas background and then uh, order our 4 by 6 print um, and so here we have spider-man a horizontal image um, we have a separate template for a horizontal there's our 4x6 horizontal there is also a video on uh, just so you ha you set up a package you assign it one template but it chooses the correct template on orientation um, that should be under the template section on the help center as well so there there's a lot more that we're not really going into but most of it's covered on the help center so you can build your workflow the way you need it to work um, that is what core edition is all about that's why it's called the workflow software so let's switch back to our um, oops I want to show you one more thing I said earlier uh, I'd explain why I was undoing that I'm gonna set my 4x6 to automatically add that template and print so I have my vertical 4x6 and my horizontal 4x6 because those templates were made and saved with the same name it should choose the right orientation you can see that it rotated uh, the actual image where it has happy holidays in the bottom uh, same here so it chose the right template even though an orienta the orientation here is not correct it actually output with the correct template 
and um, let's see. I'm let's switch uh, my catalog back to my kids. We'll add the uh, ornament. So this product would be something similar to this. It's a uh, a ball ornament, and you slip an image inside of it, and it's actually hung from a tree. This could also be used with a dye sublimation transfer printer, a, uh, a printer that prints out and it's made to be heat transferred to metal, ceramic. So uh, you can do your holiday mugs, your ornaments, all those weird little novelty specialty items. Uh, Cordition can help you with that. Um, who we're talking about there is somebody that's not actually doing all the printing on site. Um, I'm, I'm going to bring up one additional topic or option that you have. Um, but for somebody, it's uh, printing some and then they're fulfilling uh, some at home or at the office and then sending them out. So these would take a little bit longer than you, uh, than just at an event, unless you're just selling the print and the, this object and they assemble it at home. So Core Edition also has what uh, is called Labtricity um, connectivity. So I have my lab set up. Yeah. So I have my local lab connected. And if I click here, I can see the different products that they offer. And... Uh, so if I wanted to offer a, a baseball, let's say I was doing a baseball event, I get an output to uh, baseball. We're talking about Christmas stuff. So here would be our uh, cards, Christmas cards. So if I, let's say I wanted to do a four by eight Christmas card and in quantities and have it double sided, this would be a good option. Um, or there they are. There's some other Christmas cards. Um, die cut magnets, travel mug. So stuff that I can actually produce. Check uh, with the Lab Tracing Network, find a lab that works for you. Uh, but you can expand your offering using Core Edition without actually having to have that additional equipment. So you capture, sell it, tell them it'll take a week to complete and then they'll send it directly to you and you actually don't have to do any fulfillment. So that is using Labtricity. One more option, and because we're talking to booth users, I wanted to show you this. Uh, you can set up your camera to take a picture and it automatically prints using auto print. So let's say I wanted to print a... Uh, four by six print with a template every time I take a picture. Oops. There it goes. Okay. So now that is set up. We'll go ahead and turn that template off. Um, Cordition uses a whole bunch of shortcut keys. They're all mapped out. Um, so each one of these, I'm not sure if I talked about this already, but that number matches with the number on your keyboard. You can just click on that and it will send a print. But I'm gonna take a picture. It's going to capture my image and it should auto print with my template. There you go. Um, so if you want it to work the same way Booth does and just capture an image, have be able to use this shutter release um, and still auto print, have just a one man show, you can do that as well. The theme of today's video is that Core Edition works the way that you want it to work. It's a workflow software and it's made to work around your needs uh, rather than having you fit inside a, a automated process. So. Once again, don't forget about the stickers. Uh, Proudly powered by Darkroom Software. I'll see you next time.
Thanks again for watching. Here are a couple of videos that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. Be sure to like, subscribe, but more importantly, if there's something you want to learn a little bit more about, comment below this video and I'll do my best to add it as a future video. I'll see you in the next one.